Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at Slate Digital's latest update which releases native Apple Silicon support for M1 based Macs. I'm currently using QBS 12. This project was actually created in QBS 11. I was using the Rosetta mode and uh, you can see here various plugins aren't loading up. So QBS 12 Apple Silicon version only loads up VST3 Apple Silicon versions of plugins which means that UAD plugins won't work. Isotope Neutrons not working at the minute. It hasn't been updated yet. Only RX9 and Ozone 9 have been updated for Apple Silicon support at the minute. BB Audio Smooth Operator not working yet. They need to update their stuff, but you can see the virtual mix rack is working fine. One of the reverbs in this is not loading up, so load up Herb Sweet Classics which is obviously now running native Virtual tape machines. The truth of it is, I want it Which is usually one of the more intense kind of plugins that Slate has. And she I find on Apple Silicon it's just running with, not, with no problem at all. This is running on an M1 MacBook Air, so it doesn't even have, <coughs> pardon me, it doesn't even have a fan in it. So yeah, Verb Suite is another one that's actually pretty CPU heavy usually on uh, Intel based machines, but the performance meter in QBS there is barely moved. This is on 1024 samples. We also got stuff like move some stuff around here the virtual bus compressors
you've also got stuff like the more modern MOTT. The truth. Always loads up on a really extreme preset, but if I, <coughs> pardon me, if I go to Master Gold Bath and dial that back. Stuff like murder melodies. Also got the Air EQ Premium and the E2 DSer. Pressure. EQ. <coughs> Pardon me. Repeater. Trigger is showing up there, but it's not going to load. It's still running VST two. Metatune. Then you got all the kilohertz stuff. Kilohertz. Lustrous plates isn't showing up on my system, and I'm wondering is it only VST2 with its native version? I don't know, I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that. But uh, the only other one is FGX, which hasn't been updated, which makes me think that FGX2 isn't that far away. That's pure speculation. So, yeah, all in all, awesome update, really happy with that. Everything's running really, really well. Given the fact that this is an M1 MacBook Air and it's using about a fifth of the processing power that's available here. Probably a good portion of that has been taken up by OBS. So things are looking really good for M1 based Macs and people with M1 Macs. Hopefully other developers get into gear soon and uh, we start seeing more M1 native versions. So yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll be back with another video soon.